Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We are on episode number four and we have just saved this little doctor over here and we are now going to go recruit Rex because that is something we need to do. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Hey, how are you? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Ah, uh, oh, the elevator at the end of the hallway leads up to CSEC Academy. The Lion's Docking Bay will be found there. Okay, good to know. CSEC Academy directions. All right, uh, thanks, I'm good. Are we in another elevator? We're looking for Rex. Hey, Rex. Hey, honey bunny. Where are you, Bubba? What's this? Is it a, oh, okay. I thought they were fighting. It's like, is it? Is this? Wait, Rex? Where is? Oh, there he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. All right, I'm still gonna take my two. I'm good with it. We got him. We picked him up. All right, now is there anything that we need to do in CSEC? Mm, just like look around a little bit, you know? Why not? Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Okay, I actually did that in my... I did that part of the mission in my other game. But I'm not gonna do it this time because I want to actually scan the keepers this time. I want to see if it changes something. You know, I want to play a little different. It's not like that different, yeah, but like a little bit different. Just a little bit. Okay, I have now scanned so many damn keepers. Nice to see so many humans working for CSEC. 
Why? Why is it nice? One sec, looking you up. Access denied. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander no. Shepard? I think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. You have a good day now. Yeah. Okay, so let me just go here real quick. Uh, scan the keepers. 17. Okay, I'm so close. I think it's just Flux, right? Like, that's the only place I can think of that I haven't been. Flux. Um, ward locations. We're gonna go, uh, let's go to the, the markets, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea where I'm going half the time, guys. You guys should know all this by now. But yeah, I think Flux is over here. If there ain't three keepers over here, I don't know where the keepers are. Oh, there might be, I know where a keeper could be. I, you know what I have to do? I have to actually go and check and see where uh oh what's in there i don't know what's in there. Oh, oh yeah okay it's the way out but there's there could be a keeper in that uh girl that a sorry corn swords uh area okay so rapid transit right there now i can travel to flux oh yeah can i dance bouncer i want to dance to see another human in here. Why? Why can't I dance? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volvas? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. It's okay. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. Problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. No pro- wait, wait. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. <laughs> We've got some quasar stations. No. Uh, if you're interested. He really wants me to gamble. Enjoy your time. I'm now I'm now suspicious. I'm suspicious. The gambling push made me suspicious. Okay, let me see. Patron. I'm waiting for someone else. Okay. Well I just wanted to say hi, jeez. I don't know. I don't want to play. Ah, uh, nah. Nah, I'm not playing. I just want to see if there's any codexes. Nah. Oh, there's one! Yay! Okay. Is this a play, too? Oh, man. I'm not playing, no. It's... I'm not a gambler. Look at all these people. Oh, poor things. They're losing all their money. Oh, wait. Can I talk to people over there? No, I don't think so. All right. Was there any other ones? Was there any? No. There's still two more. Three more missing, right? Two more missing? Three more. Two more. Journal. Uh, scan the keepers. Yeah, two more missing. Dang. 
Okay, I can only think of one place that I haven't been, which is... Well, there's also that place, like, Kora's Den. There's, like, a place behind there and there. I don't even know how. I don't even know. What am I saying? I don't know. Oh. Oh, here's the observe. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. I love that scene so much. It's like my favorite. Looking for the last keeper. Damn it. Yeah. Damn. Did I maybe miss one? You know what? It could be in the financial district. I don't think I looked at that district closely enough. So I'll check that one afterwards. And why am I walking? Stu, use the rapid travel. Like, no one walks anymore. Okay? This is like the 22nd century here. Okay? Just get with the program. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Looks like it shut down. <gasps> Fist knows we're coming. Oh my god. Really? Wait, I didn't know that this was gonna happen. Oh, I forgot that we were going after Fist. Go okay, on. Oh yeah, I guess this is what yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Uh, where are we at? Okay. I, my, my abilities are charging. And there's a Krogan bouncer, and unfortunately, he's got me. Oh, okay. There we go. Damn it. My abilities are so slow at recharging. This is horrible. Alright. Oh. Okay, so I think that's everybody. Wow. That was really dangerous, seriously. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. I did not expect to do that. I was like just coming to talk to the girl, but <laughs> apparently. Oh. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Damn straight. Boom! I got Paragon. Okay, so what's this? Yeah, yeah. Done. I need to scan the keepers. Is there any keepers over here? Keep an eye out. Oh, oh! He's shooting at us! Oh, what a little bitch! Hold on. Okay, hold on. Oh no, oh no. Get, get that stupid turret out of here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, hold on. This defensive turret is such a bitch. Oh. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. I thought the Shadow Broker only worked through agents. Hmm. 
Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. You're not my concern. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Alright. And now I have to go, oh, Juan, I have to also do this stuff because I'm obsessed with getting 100% completion. It's a really bad thing. Uh oh, let's just... Too many lights, too much noise. All right, nothing new. Okay. There's no keepers over here. <sighs> okay, hold on. I know exactly where to go, though. <laughs> oh, shoot. Really? Yeah, I'm getting better at that. Oh, yeah. My, my gun needs some work though. I need to get a better pistol. Definitely. Alright. Where where oh, there's some more over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Got it? Okay, good. We're good. Okay. Moving forward. Where is what? Hey, what? What? Why is there a question mark over there? What am I supposed to look at? There's a question mark. Oh, I think this is the bartender girl, but I just haven't got her yet because, yeah. Okay. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh, whoops. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I th there's Stuart. Th there's a mission going on, like an important one, to save Tally, Zora, and Araya. Can you get your shit together? Thank you. Bye. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Get it, girl. Charging up. No, no. Fist oh. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. He'll want to see this anyway. Okay, let's go. Guess we're going. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. 
Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, this is so exciting! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, you just unlocked new stuff! Okay, hold on, let me- okay. Let, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I know this is a little short, this little part is a little short, but I'm gonna end it here because there's stuff that I wanna do in the Citadel and I wanna kind of like look and see what's the best order to do it. So, with that said, wrapping up part four, thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.